Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's about 20 to 5 on Sunday. And I've been asked by the family of Cal Duffy, his son Mitchell, his wife Joanne, their daughter Samantha, to pass on this sad announcement to you that Cal passed away yesterday. I feel very honored to be able to do this. Cal was, without a doubt, one of the closest friends I ever had in my life. I knew him from age 15 and only spoke to him just last Wednesday about getting together for some golf out here sometime this summer. He wasn't sure if he was going to make it. And I said, well, if you get up to Kamloops to where Samantha is, Myron and I will come up there to, to see you. It's a very difficult day for a lot of people when you lose a loved one, a friend who's like the brother I never had, really. It weighs very hard and deep into your heart. Many people will be sad also. And I want you to think of Cal in the way I want to think of him. Big, tall guy. When he was a teenager, he grew the best mustache. He loved golf. He loved his Dallas Cowboys. But most of all, every time I spoke with him, he always mentioned his lovely wife, Joanne, his son, Mitchell, his daughter, Samantha, the grandkids, and the potential of retiring soon. He didn't make it to that day, but he lived almost 61 years and he had a lot of good things to be proud of. I hadn't seen him for many years, but we always kept in touch. I had lived away in Spain and the United Kingdom through the 2000s. So after 17 years of not seeing each other, we rendezvoused in Dallas, Texas, November 18th and 19th for a day of watching the Dallas Cowboys live. And then the next day playing the Dallas Cowboys Golf Club. I wrote a golf review for canadiangolfer.com all about that golf day. And Mitchell and his mom and sister thought sharing that day with you would tell you how great it was to see him after all those years. The first thing that occurred when we picked the two guys up at their motel or hotel was him and I just gave each other a big bear hug and I'm a lot smaller than him. When he went to hug Myra, her eyes almost popped out of her head. She's five feet tall, five two. Cal's upward to six three, and Mitchell's even taller. We had the most wonderful two days, eating chicken wings, cheering on the football team, and then the most amazing golf day that I will never forget. So take a moment to think some nice thoughts about Cal's life. I'll miss him more than I can even describe to you. And thanks for taking some time out of your day to let me share this with you. This is not my usual bubbly, silly little videos that I like to post, but it is a necessary part of life. Rest in peace, Cal. I'll remember you for the rest of my life.